good evening to one and all present uh, here it's a very happy moment for us as a part of uh, doc tutorials uh, team uh, to be interviewing uh, one of our toppers in uh, neat ss gastroenterology uh, dr raj kumar uh, he has scored a rank of 4 in gastroenterology and a rank of 2 in hepatology this is an amazing feat so uh, he has been in touch with me from quite some time so uh, he has been having good uh, journey now he is really happy uh, so uh, uh, dr rajkumar chepandi how are you feeling we are really excited about the news so please go on shoot first of all i am very happy that i got uh, this rank in neat there was uh, some lack of uh, like preparation towards the end but uh, somehow i made it in the top 5 so for this thing i am uh, extremely grateful to god my teachers my parents sister and uh, my best friends yeah. okay. and uh, so i did my uh, mbbs and md from jipmar uh, puducherry uh, after mbbs i prepared for uh, four months and then i got into md medicine then my md medicine got over in uh, july 2021 where did you do your md from same place uh, from jipmar sir md also okay. from excellent okay cool it uh, like uh, from 2021 august 22nd onwards i started preparing gastro was always there in my mind from my uh, second year and third year i had uh, much interest in uh, gastro only rather than other subjects uh, it, so from august 22nd first uh, i contacted few of my seniors uh, like harsha and uh, anudeep and uh, ganga sir so everyone suggested that you have to read uh, slicing up so i bought slicing up textbooks then uh, i started uh, reading first hepatology in uh, slicing up but uh, then uh, i thought uh, there is like uh, i wasted too much of time uh, by reading this uh, textbook because there are only few points which are more important so from next i should not waste time like this there is only 2 to 2 months of 2 uh, to 3 months of time so then uh i started uh, like uh, going through only tables and figures in a slicing rest of the slicing and then i have uh, watched your uh, videos sir from like uh, intestine then uh, uh, small intestine large intestine and uh, even topics involving multiple organs all these things i have listened uh, to your lectures so you have underlined a uh, few things in the text from uh, slicing directly from the text from directly from the slicing so i used to go through that uh, text and uh, then i used to read that topic or uh, that paragraph in slicinger then i started uh, doing uh, those uh, mcqs related to that topic after i read those mcqs i start uh, doing uh, from the app and uh, then uh, wherever i am uh, making mistakes or whichever i am not able to grasp the concept or i am uh, constantly doing uh, mistakes i used to concentrate on those things and also the things which are being asked uh, frequently so i used to see through these mcqs then again slicing up tables and figures and uh, some few topics i have uh, gone through review books of uh, slicing up and uh, so i thought that preparation was uh, adequate uh, the tables and figures i was able to go through three times three to four times uh, there were revision videos of you uh, like uh, in 24 to 48 hours you recalled all the most important uh, topics in gastro so i have watched those videos uh, two to three times so okay, those images excellent. and uh, all these things so that uh, really helped me a lot sir i really owe so much <laughs> it's our duty so uh, when we do something and uh, we uh, you know get the results like this uh, there's nothing more that we can ask for you know uh, so uh, it it feels really happy for us as a teacher when you're able to do with our guidance and it played some small role in your achievement it could mean a big thing for us so that's great so from what we conversed with you i realized that um, you uh, started from schlesinger harrison based did you even go through anywhere or did you you know flip through the tables at least how did you match See, schlesinger is fine we'll come back to it how about harrison because the we would not know how much percentage is medicine other branches some neurology question a lot of uh, miscellaneous questions would be asked how were, were you able to answer those things with just schlesinger so you must have done some other ways of reading also right actually in our chapter they concentrate mainly on uh, cardio and uh, neuro so okay. I, i never read uh, gastro whatever is there so okay. but once i started uh, preparing 
i thought uh, even harrison also i should go through at least uh, once in gastro so okay tables and figures in harrison i have read and a uh, few topics which i thought uh, are important or uh, they are highly focused i have gone through those topics in harrison those topics i have read one uh, like at twice like two to three times the tables and figures harrison also okay so gastro you did tables and figures from harrison that's okay yeah. how about the entire other subjects other subjects are almost 40% to 50% right so how did you manage with that that uh, uh, like uh, we i have just passed out from uh, like okay uh, that to like mm. so i had some grip over uh, basic uh, subject so neuro okay. endo and all these basic things i was able to answer so okay. those things also i have concentrated on things which i will uh, like those two things to remember well where we can easily forget things those things i used to go through in other uh, like uh, departments like uh, neuro endo cardio all these things excellent so a lot of information from dr uh, rajkumar's talk right now first thing is uh, what he has clearly told is during his md days his uh, you know all his uh, education and whatever he did in medicine played an important foundation for him to not go into venturing into preparing specially for general medicine and other subjects at all all that he had to do was in a span of hardly 3 months he could focus on the super specialty subject of his choice and concentrate there well and his medicine knowledge and other branch knowledge he always concentrated on his uh, you know mistakes important things and he saved a lot of time See, it's impossible to even be expert in gastroenterology after many many years of reading so many books so general medicine is a different question altogether it's even more vast so he has done really smart studies in nutshell i would like to tell that in uh, this was a brilliant way of uh, putting forth your uh, you know time he has given important to high yield points of different subjects made sure that where he makes mistake he is able to gather and if he doesn't complete the entire course it's still fine he has done a grossly he knows majority and he could answer majority of the questions in general medicine also then a wonderful thing is in just a span of 3 to 4 months hardly 3 months i would say he initially experimented reading schlesinger he felt that the pace may not be adequate to complete everything and then he went on to the method of really important thing that is going through tables and going through figures and trying to have an entire coverage of all those things so that's very important because when you see a table or a figure or this high yield algorithms you can you know there are so many things that you can pick up what they write and write on top of it so that's something you should view every table and figure in your own a way of understanding okay you should be able to you know get the crux of the information from the tables odd one out from the tables and things like that then the third thing he mentioned is with respect to past questions some high yield points which i have thought difficult topics of where he has gone through videos and then you know uh, retrospectively he has gone to the questions after going through the videos which is a very good strategy and saves lot of time ultimately here we have a living example of a single digit rank with preparation of 3 months for a subject of choice with a good baseline knowledge in medicine so uh, a hats off to you dr rajkumar uh, this is like amazing feat you must be enjoying so coming to some of the doubts for students right what they feel is many of them some of them you know they try to you know prepare for two two subjects Uh, like vague subject not like hepat and gastro or maybe gastro and endo or something like that and they are in, you know unable to get the best of each of those things what is your suggestion to these kind of students do, do you suggest them okay chuck it just keep one subject in mind and go for it uh, 100% is that what you would say yes sir we should always keep one subject in our mind and then you have to proceed with it uh, but since now neat pattern is changing i think uh, there is no problem because they have to read entire uh, medicine yes so what i uh, want to ask from you is for the next generation of people who are writing the next paper the pattern is more harrison based so if you were there in this position where they are strategizing for the exam which is again exactly 3 months from now okay 4 months okay 4 to 5 months or 3 months okay it may get postponed this that could happen so what you think now you already have a rank you would again strategize for the next exam right so how different you would have done now or would you have done the same way that you are doing because doing this way will help you in ini 
uh, SS. Yes. Doing it fully general medicine will totally take you away from those exams and concentrate only on neat SS. So yes. there are many students in this dilemma. How should I separate time? How should I be able to do it? So any uh, inputs from your side with respect to strategies? Uh, it's always a gamble. Uh, you might get, you might not get. There is so much of a uh, thing and uh, it is medicine 50 percent super specialty. So reading super specialty will be very useful in any SS. And uh, based on medicine knowledge, you would be uh, like sufficient enough to crack the exam. But again, it's always, uh, there is always a component of uh, luck and there is also an interview. So you have to excel in uh, two things. So, and the uh, seats are very limited. On the other hand, NEET has uh, many seats and uh, it is quite uh, doable. But the syllabus is completely now totally different uh, for both. So whether you have to decide whether you want NESS or you want uh, NEET, because uh, in uh, like both exams are coming in three to four months. So it is uh, very difficult with one strategy to crack another. But if you uh, read uh, this general medicine overall, that will be useful for medicine. And that same 50% will be useful for NESS. And now whatever you have read for super specialty, that thing, if you just uh, sharpen your uh, old memory and start doing MCQs like alternate day or once in uh, three days, it will be very useful like uh, so that you can be competent enough in both exams. Okay. So initially what you said, like 70% of your energy was going towards uh, Schlesinger and 30% maybe towards Harrison and other things. So now you suggest that, okay, now the exam pattern has changed. General medicine with Harrison, like everything in Harrison should be given 70% importance. Now 30% time spend on Schlesinger. And if you don't have time that much, then just go through tables and charts of the major books because that you can cover faster, isn't it? Is that something which you are tending towards? Yes, sir. Excellent. So <laughs> that's amazing. That's great. So uh, thank you for uh, helping few of our students to plan their time next. So uh, uh, good luck and uh, keep us posted on what you're doing. So um, what are your plans going on? Now you have a rank of four in gastro and two in hepat. So uh, <laughs> what are you planning to do, doctor? Okay, I will take a definite gastroenterology only, sir. Okay, so you are tending towards gastro. So here also some of the students have doubts, sir, I have gastro and hepat, what should I take and things like that. You are passionate towards gastroenterology. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Any advantages you felt for gastro over hepat or it's just interest towards gastro, whatever it is? Uh, like uh, gastro is more of uh, like both procedures and uh, gen like uh, medicine, like a physician. So it has both things uh, in adequate uh, amount. Hepatology, is, I feel it's more of a, like a, a physician type and they prepare for a patient for liver transplant and viruses. More than this, they won't have much on uh, procedures. Okay, so okay. I feel uh, this is uh, like equally balanced uh, gastro. Okay. Okay, gastro is more balanced the branch while, while compared to uh, hepat. Hepat is more of a physician and more of, you know, mind work happens here, more of skills also matters. Okay, so depends on person to person uh, how they feel. Uh, that was uh, good. And I think we have covered most of the, you know, subtopics of what we thought uh, should be spoken and uh, should, should be helpful for your uh, juniors and colleagues. So, uh, Thank you, Dr. Rajkumar. We, as a part of uh, Doc Tutorials, are really happy to have you on our uh, interview session uh, and uh, to have some of your points to, you know, to be uh, told to uh, the next uh, appearing uh, students. Definitely, there will be a significant number of students taking positive points from you. And uh, if few of them might even contact you personally to ask for more opinions. So, uh, very thank you for uh, everything. And uh, it was wonderful talking to you. Uh, keep in touch. Uh, join our club. So now you are with us as a team in uh, gastroenterology. We are always with you. Okay. So now we are colleagues. So keep in touch. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity to give your time for the small interview with you.